everybody, it's Jalessa again. Today I'm going to talk to you about jeweler saws. I have two different kinds and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you each one and then show you how to load one. So I have the new concept jeweler saw which has the quick release, which I find very handy and I use this one more often than not. But a lot of people start out with the basic steel frame and I've had this one for many years and I use this a lot until I came up with the new concept saw. So we're going to get into a demonstration right now. So the first saw we're going to talk about is the standard jewelry saw, which is the steel frame. This one is an interesting little one because it's been the same one that's been used for hundreds of years, I'm sure. Um, it's basically like a coping saw. You put the blade here and you use it straight up and down just like you would with the new concept saw. Really the only difference between the two is that the steel frame is a little bit heavier, maybe a little bit more unwieldy, um, but one of the most important things is that you have to find a throat deep enough to handle most of your jobs. So I would recommend the four inch throat so that you can use it on pretty much everything that you might need to use it for. First thing you wanna do is get a blade. You've got your saw. And what I like to do to figure out which way my blade is facing, because sometimes I don't have my optivisor on, is I fill with my fingers and find where it actually pulls on my finger. But an easier way to do it is just to put your optivisor on, which I've got on, you can't see. And I usually take the end of the saw and put it at the end of my bench, just like this. And then look on the saw to see where the teeth are pointing. They should be pointing down and toward you so that you can cut correctly. So the first thing I want to do is open the front and place it all the way to the top right here. Close it down and then I have mine marked with a little black mark to know how far I need to put it in in order to make it tight. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put mine into that mark. I'm pressing forward with my chest to get it into that area. And then to test it, eh, it kind of has an odd sound, so I'm going to go ahead and press it in just a little bit more. That's what it should sound like. It should sound like a guitar string. Not sure if you can hear that or not. The next thing I want to do is show you the best way to use it for cutting. So I'm going to put my bench pin here and I'm going to get a piece of scrap and I'm going to show you how to cut. Now the first thing is you want to hold the saw straight up and down. You don't want to tilt it forward, you don't want to tilt it backwards, and you certainly don't want it moving around too much because you'll break the blade. So I like to think of it as a sewing machine. And the first thing I want to do is put a little bit of fur lube on it. And then I want to start my cut going from the bottom up. I'm going to press forward just a little bit until it catches and then pull it down. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get it going. And I'm using it like the leg of a sewing machine where the needle is, straight up and down. It's not pushed forward, it's not pushed backwards, it's not twisting left to right. I'm going as straight as I can and keeping my fingertips very lightly on the handle. So that's how a steel framed saw blade works. Now, as for the new concept saw, it's actually very simple. We have a spot for the blade up here and a spot for the blade up here. This area moves back and forth, moves up and down. And that's how you do the tensioning. You flip it over and use this knob to actually tension it up or loosen it. So I've already got mine placed in here and the pins are actually tightened down. And I'm gonna pull this forward and that puts the tension on it. And you can hear the same amount of noise, just like we did on the other one. It kind of sounds like a guitar string. Now, this actually works exactly the same way as the other saw blade, or jeweler saw. And you want to keep that also straight up and down. 
and have it move like the needle on a sewing machine. Now one thing is I'm not pressing forward because you want to let the saw do the work for you. I'm holding very lightly onto the metal so it doesn't move around and I'm not using any force to push it forward. I'm just sliding it up and down and letting it do the work for me. And that's how easy it is. Now, it takes a little bit of practice. I'm not saying that you're gonna get this right away, but I think you'll do pretty well if you listen to those three simple steps. So, in today's episode, I told you about the steel frame jeweler saw and how to get the blade in properly. And I also told you about the new concept saw, which is a very lightweight saw with pretty much the same concept. The only thing being that you have a, a, a permanent set on your saw blade. Um, and this tensioner actually makes it loose or makes it tight. That way you can undo it, unscrew it, and pull it out of a saw piercing that you're working on. So if you have any questions and you need more information about either one of these saws, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help you out with that. Thanks everybody, I appreciate the time. Bye. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thank you for watching.